So yeah. have you ever dated a man that owns multiple businesses? No. So you date fuck boys. Hello? Akuna. Oh, yes. Hi. Oh, my gosh. Hi. Hello. Um, how are I you? How are you? Literally just found you. I, I'm I'm great. How are you doing? How, good. How do I pronounce your first name? Oh, um, you can call me Akuna. Everyone dies. Um, I oh, guess okay. I'm not looking at the little comment thing because I know you said it's important not to look. Yeah, I prefer you to close the window, honestly. But go ahead. Uh, why can't uh, why can't queens keep a man, or why can't queens get a man? You know, it's actually kind of funny. Um, just because I've been watching your videos, I found you like maybe two days ago, and then you you put this as the topic for today. This has been my exact question myself. Mm -hmm. Um, I would say, uh, general knowledge, uh. I, I have a bridal store, so I deal with a lot of women literally getting married. Um, but I think um, it would probably be because if you are overly opinionated, it's a turnoff. Okay. Um, and let me see. I would I would say that, you know, based off of everything that I know from just uh, anecdotal evidence of watching guys, um, people... Or men think that, um, or women think that men want you to be really smart, which they don't actually care about. And I actually would argue that they don't necessarily care if you're the most gorgeous, as long as you make them feel good. I think it's actually more about pumping up their, you know, personal. Are you married? No. Have you? Ever I know it's ironic. Ha have you ever been married? No. How old are you? Twenty nine. And you own a bridal store? I own a bridal store. Okay. I own an alterations shop and I'm a retail, uh, a, re a realtor. Okay. So you got a lot of businesses going on. What's your primary, what's your primary source of income? Which is your primary business? The bridal store. It started first. Okay. And that's where the, the bulk of your money comes from? Yes. Um, all right. So were you raised with mom and dad? Um, no, my, no. Well, okay, my, no. I was birthed under, short answer is yes, I guess. Um, but my mom and dad were, were married, divorced at two. My mom remarried at nine, got divorced when I was like 25. Where's your biological father though? Jersey. He was not in the house with you? No. You weren't raised with mom and dad? Okay. You had mom and stepdad? Well, that's not mom and dad. Did you have any siblings? I have a brother and a sister. Are they older or younger than you? Younger. I'm the oldest. And how old is your brother and how old is your sister? Brother is 20, sister is 14. Okay, so you're much older than him. Yeah. So well, why I mean my mom was divorced. Okay. So, so why why anybody. so why at 29 with three businesses and a bridal store? When's the last relationship you had? I knew you were gonna ask that. Of course. Uh, January. And how long how long was that relationship? Eight months. How long was the longest one prior to that? Two years. How long ago was that one? Uh I've had two two year relationships. Um so the one the most recent one I guess was when I was twenty twenty five or, or so. I don't know. You tell me. 25 yeah. to 27? Yes. And then what about the two-year one before that? 21 to 23. So if you had two two-year relationships, why why, ain't you, why can't you get a husband? <laughs> Wonderful questions. The question I've been asking myself for 2020. Um, I think I think I, I'm, I, I'm a little intimidating, number one. And number two, I think I have a lot of opinions. And number three, I think I've been going for the wrong type of guy. How tall are you? Five, seven, and three quarters. What size dress do you wear? Four. How much did you weigh last time you weighed in? 137. If you had to rank yourself on a scale from one to ten and you can't use seven, face only, no hair extensions, your natural hair, your natural face, what would you give yourself? 
Um, interesting. Eight. Nope. No. No. Beyonce is an eight. Kelly Rowland's a nine. You give yourself Beyonce looks. Based, I'm, I'm actually based off of what men have told me. They have said I'm a nine. You probably. I mean, I, I saw you pop up. I saw you pop up. Yeah, I just came from the gym, so I, I look rough. Uh, um, beauty is beauty. I'm an image consultant. Okay. I'm not here to hurt feelings, but it's just not, no. No, no I'm fine. So the thing is, because you said you, you're, you may be intimidating, and what's intimidating about you? Uh, A, that I have the businesses, and B, that I'm not an idiot. So? You got businesses, so what? Well, I think it's, you know, there's a shy quality um, that a lot of men like in women. Um, they would probably really describe it as... What city do you live in? Atlanta. Mm-hmm. And uh, Atlanta is where 17 to 1 down here. So maybe it's 26. Oh, yeah. So have you ever dated a man that owns multiple businesses? No. So you date fuck boys. I wouldn't disagree. It's easy for fuckboys to be intimidated by what you call success. Don't bother me. Don't bother guys. It doesn't bother guys like me. The shit that you say is normally intimidating, I laugh at it. So do they. Now what are you going to do to get one of them? Honest to God, I'm all ears. Well, see, but that's the point. At 29 years old, owning the bridal shop, what have you done to be... Let me go ahead and get to the notes. You're on a bridal shop. So you see weddings all day long. What Do you ever ask a woman, how'd you get your husband? I have. So are you compet- So for the kind of men you want, are you competitive for them? What have you done to improve yourself in the ways that... What have you done to improve yourself in the ways that men that you want, want? Um, well... I work out so that way not only am I small but I actually have like a nice butt, mm-hmm. a flat stomach. Uh, that's just, good. You Atlanta is the, but that's good. Atlanta, you know, all you got to do is go over to shops at Buckhead and there are lots of women down here work out. So that's standard. Okay. That's good. Keep going. Um I make sure that I am eloquent, which means, you know, I'm trying to keep well read. So that way I can carry a conversation and not, you know, be dullard. Uh-huh. Um, I am trying to find like some activity in which I can interact with, with the kinds of men that you're talking about. Uh-huh. Um, so what do they want? I mean, what do they want from a, what do they want from their woman? They want her to be pretty. They want her to be submissive. They want her to cook and clean, and they want her to make him feel good. That's, physically and mentally. Okay, okay. That that's a fortune cookie. That's that's very general. They want her to be feminine, they want her to be submissive. Okay, let's take it that way. Are you submissive? I can be. That's a no. See that deflection shit doesn't work for me. So you might as well just give me the answer. Cause if you can be, that means you're not in general. So I would be sensitive if I could meet the right guy to be. That's sensitive. bull fucking shit. You don't meet the man without being what it is you already see. What I just asked you is what do they want? And I asked you, are you are you doing stuff to be competitive with what these men want? You gave me this laundry list of shit that you felt like doing. Nobody cares about if you're well read. I asked you, what do they want? And you said they want you to be feminine, they want you to be this, they want you to be that. And I asked you the first thing, are you that? No. It's on your list. First thing out your mouth. Feminine. Are you that? No. Oh, no, no, no. I'm feminine. I thought you said, I am I submissive all the time? Okay. Are you are you feminine all the time? Yes. Do you think the way you're speaking on the phone is feminine? Oh. Well, I mean, I wasn't trying to... I was trying to make sure... Honestly, when I listen to some of your shows, the girls, they kind of dance around their answer... I'm just talking about, I'm talking about, I'm talking about this, this sheer tone. Oh. 
I mean, I can be more feminine. I just was trying but, to make sure. But I no, but see, but no, no, see, see, and there, and there, and that's, see, listen to what I'm about to say. Okay. You think it's a switch you turn on and off when you decide that you spark a mark. And I'm telling you, the men like myself, look at the fact that you're not feminine all the time and you we will never come in your area. The fact you're not submissive all the time, we'll never come in your area. Your lack of femininity consistently means you dr- you run high value men away. Your lack of being submissive consistently runs high value men away. I just asked you four questions. No, no. So, have you ever worked with a matchmaker? No, it's something I'm looking into. Okay. So basically what it sounds like is you've decided to do what you want uh, as far as trying to make your, you decide to do what you want to try to attract the men that you claim to want. But the things that they want, one, even if I agreed with what you said, you don't do them. I don't agree with what you said wholly, but even the what I even if I agree with them, you don't do it. That's a problem. Okay, I agree that I do switch on my femininity on and off, partly because of my job. Um, but it's I how do I I don't feel like I would want to be submissive for just anybody. Is that a bad thing? Yes. Huh. You want to know how? You want to know how? Yes. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to look directly ahead, okay? Okay. Look directly ahead. Then what I want you to do okay. is turn your head, just your head, not your neck, 45 degrees, okay? Then I want you to look directly down at your left ring finger. Okay. Is it wide open? It is. There's your fucking answer. Your inability, you think okay. you think so, you want listen. Don't talk, listen. I am. Black women like yourself think this is a game. I'll be submissive for my man. I'll be feminine for my man. But you can't get a man until men spot you as feminine and submissive. Until then, you'll get fuckboys. Men like my dudes would pass right by your masculine ass. With that loud projecting voice. That shit is like nails on a chalkboard. And it's not like you're intending to do it, but that's just who you are. 